So I have another pressure washer here that I picked up on Marketplace for parts. And before I start taking it all apart or scrapping it, I am going to see if the motor works. I can already tell it's missing the pull cord. It's already missing the air cleaner housing. Um, it's missing the fuel filter. There's a glass fuel filter or plastic fuel filter that hangs down here that's missing. So I don't know anything about this one. It's an old one, but it has a very large uh, commercial pump on it. That's uh, I think six gallons a minute. So that's a vo high volume pump. So that'd be beneficial to get running. Um, because of that here, when you open a fuel, it just comes out here. So I have another Honda fuel tank here that I'm going to probably prop up on something and try to just run a gravity fuel line to it over to there. So I can see if I can at least get this engine to start. I have a pull rope, pull cord. I'm just gonna wrap around that and see if that works, if I can get it to pop. And I have the trusty starting fluid. So if I can get it to pop, then I know I can get it to run some, some part, some way. So let's see if we can get it to pop. If I get it to pop, then I'm going to bring it over, hook it up to the gas tank and uh, get it so I can get it to run. And then I'll put a garden hose to it so we don't run the pump dry. This would be a nice one to get running if that pump works. The whole thing is if the pump works. The engines, I could switch out, switch out this engine for any other Honda I have sitting around. So this is like a seven horse, yeah, seven horsepower engine. So I do believe I have a couple other Hondas, but they're GXs, they're newer models. So let's see if we can do anything with this, uh, this pressure washer. So it has a cap pump and they say that's one of the best pumps out there. And it's a uh, six gallon a minute right there. And it's only 1200 PSI. So this is basically a high volume pump, not a high pressure pump. So let's see if we can get it going. See if anything, any parts are on it are good. So like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can get it to pop. If I can get it to pop, meaning try to start, then that means there's hope in the engine before I go spending money on it. So let's squirt a little starting fluid, hit the, make sure the switch is on. All right, she wants to run. So if she wants to run, that means we just got to get her fuel. And you can see the fuel pouring out right there. There's no bowl. So we got to figure out something here. All right, so here's what I came up with so I could try to use the original gas tank. See if I can show you. It's missing the debris canister that hangs so the sediment or sediment canister so the sediment falls down i just gotta block that off temporarily so if i put a little piece of plastic in there put the o-ring back on top i also have a washer like that i'm hoping i don't know if you saw any of that but i'm hoping that We'll seal that off, that hole in there where the fuel drops down. I'm hoping that'll seal that off because I don't have another, which call it, um, this style to screw into the gas tank. And I don't want to take a chance on dumping that gas all over the driveway. So let's see if this works. All right, so that's there. That's open. So let's see if gas comes out. Let me go get the straight gas. I'll pour a little bit of straight gas in there and go from there. Let's see if it leaks. It's open. Nope. Not leaking. I only put a little bit in there. should probably check the oil too. 
Where's the oil dipstick on this one? Way over here. Oh, it's filthy. I should wash this too. Has a little dipstick. As long as you have oil on it and it's to the top of the threads, you're good to go. Oil looks good, nice and clean actually. I don't see any water in it. It's not foamy. So, let's see. Try it again. So are we leaking? Where are we leaking fuel from? Oh, we're leaking somewhere. Oh, nope. We're leaking. We are leaking from the carburetor. take this off fuels off the valve is working the shutoff valve is working we go get a metric set we'll take that carburetor off out here more likely it's gonna be a 10 yep I can smell the varnish That old gasoline smell. So we'll see what happens if we take this carburetor off. See if it uh if we find it to leak. Got the governor spring back here. Tip it. So that's the governor spring hole and then the governor hole. And it looks like all that gas was pouring out the carburetor itself. And that's real gas smell. See how color the get color of it. What we're gonna attempt to do is clean it. See what it looks like inside. Whole bunch of yuck. Woo. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was gonna run very long. That's that varnish I was smelling. I don't know if you could see, look inside that bowl. That is filled. Get that soaking.
And I need my other screwdriver, of course. This is just glued right in there. Take the float and the needle came off at the same time. There's a needle. I can get this in here. So your fuel comes in here and comes out that little needle. And that float is what opens and closes that needle when the bowl, this, that's called the bowl, is running low on fuel. So this, if I squirt this in here, it should come out this hose. And it does. All right, I gotta go get Another screwdriver, and I'm gonna get a little chemical brush to brush this off in here. I get as much of that off as possible. While I was up, I grabbed my torch tip cleaner. This screwdriver I had filed thinner, so that should fit in there, and I got a little chemical brush. So, let's see if I can Get this out of here. Give it a turn. Yep, here it comes. So, right in the middle. So much crud, it won't come out. All right, in the middle of that is a tiny little hole that's got to be cleared. That's got to be cleared. So, for this, that's what I have the torch tips for. I'm going to just take it and knock all the debris off. You don't want to make it bigger. You just want to open it up. See through it at least. Thanks. Nice and clean. So that is clean. Now let's try to do this without it blown away. Let's do this. All right. Let's go with the needle. The needle is looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. There's a rubber tip on it, like a toilet plunger. If you think about it that way, works just like a toilet bowl. That's got to sit nice and clean inside the seat 
which is in there. Alright, rinse it off nice and clean. And that will stick open or close sometimes. There's the bar that it rides on, that the bowl or the float rides on. There's the float. This is filled with air. There's the plug, the drain plugs, the bottom of the bowl. When you store an engine, you're supposed to drain this out. So your fuel doesn't turn into that. That's what old fuel turns into. And that's what gums up the carburetor. So let's try to clean this out. In the bottom here, where your jet sits, that's a straight hole into the throttle body. So you just wanna make sure that that's not all gummed up. So like once again, try not to open it, try not to make it bigger. All you're doing is just making sure there's no debris on the sides. And then that shoots straight down into your throttle body, right in the middle there. Let's see it pouring out. And I can get the larger one through there, so that's fine. There are all little injector ports all through here. So if I spray in here, it comes out the bottom, right there. If I spray in here, this side, I don't know if you can see it, but I spray on this side here in that little brass fitting. I don't know if I'm going to get it back in there. 
Yeah, right there. It'll squirt out that side. So you just want to make sure it is clean. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how far this one is in because it ran good. So with this being up here, I'm going to count half, one, half, two, half, three, half. So three and a half. So now I'm going to take it all the way out. And this is your adjuster, your air fuel mixture adjuster. And that's a tiny little pinhole in there. So I'm going to make sure that's cleared. And if you look in there, there's a little bit of little hole in there that that goes in. Spray this. And I'm going to put that right back in before I forget. Before I forget the count. Put it all the way in, and then I'm gonna back it out three and a half turns. All right, before I back it out, I'm gonna spray the inside off. In case any debris got blown up in there. All right, now I'm gonna back it out three and a half turns. And I'm horizontal, so it's half, one, half, two, half, three, and a half. So that should be close enough to get it to run. This gasket seems to be holding out pretty good. So let's put the bottom back together, nice and clean. Well, cleaner. Can see through that that down in there and this gets bottomed out snug all right so that's in there so now let's put the needle in the needle back oh actually that's gonna be the fun part the needle sits on a little shelf just like that underneath the float then you take this without dropping it in the dirty fuel and you drop that right in there like that take the pivoting rod I'm not sure the names of these things get that in there Scarring it, bending it. There it goes. So that just sits in there like that. I did not clean the bowl out yet, so I gotta clean the bowl. Right, let's get this gasket out of here. Okay. So this is filthy. Do some of this old gas. To dissolve some of it so I don't waste the carb cleaner. Sometimes you just gotta get dirty.
Kathleen is almost new. So make sure your gasket, your O-ring is in there. Put that there. Make sure you have a gasket on your drain screw or your bowl screw, whatever you want to call it. Snug, not tight. Carburetor is back together. Now let's put it back on if we can. So that went like that. This went between the two, as far as I remember. Yes, because that gasket's on top. So I'm gonna take this, put this to the side for now. First thing I gotta do is the governor. spring on there slide this on a little bit the gasket take the choke fuel line now I do not have an air cleaner for this I wonder if any of my other ones would fit well for now I bet you they would. Uh, I, have a, I hope they will. We'll see. But for right now, I'm just going to put this back together. Try to get it to run, put some gas in this thing. Oh, there's a little bit in there. Snug, not tight. Okay. Let's open this up, see if, remember before, gas was pouring out. So let's see if gas is pouring out of the carburetor yet. Looks good. Move some tools, gas is on. So the fuel tank is on, carburetor snug. We'll put the choke on, gonna wrap this around. Here, I'm not even sure on this one. I think that's down and that's up. That's idle. Nope, that's idle. That's down. Can channel by the idle screw. I do believe that's an idle screw. We'll find out. That's either an idle screw or a high adjustment screw. So, switch is on. Let's give it a pull. <laughs> Let's move it back. on
runs, throttle doesn't work. Let's get it going again. So, I have to mess with the governor a little bit, free that up, then we'll try again. But I'm going to put the garden hose on it also. I don't want to run that pump out. This pump works. Let's try that again. I'll show you how far it's going. So I'm gonna consider this successful also, even though I still gotta get some parts for it. It's only a thousand PSI pump or 1200 PSI pump, but it's six gallons per minute. So I don't have the setup for the hoses for that and the nozzles. That's a high volume pressure uh, pump. So that's more probably for like a soft wash for a house soft wash setup. So I'm gonna do a little more research on it and see if I can get the pull cord, get the air cleaner. Um, the governor's still sticking. So I'll change your oil on that. I don't wanna rip apart the engine to get to the governor, but I'll change your oil on another day. But I uh, got the engine running, runs good. Carburetor's nice and clean. It's just a governor. And I gotta get the fuel bowl. So I'm gonna consider this one a success and uh, I'm gonna start picking up my favorite part of the day. I gotta start putting away tools. Thanks for watching.